all right so today we'll be talking about finding the course to steer um, by counteracting for the effect of the currents on the ship's course uh, the information regarding currents can be found from the tidal stream charts or the tidal diamonds um, that are drawn on the paper charts all right so this is what it looks like now i've talked about this in my previous video so if you have watched that then you will know what this is all about so i'm not going to talk too much about this today all i'm going to say is that you get the information about the currents acting in a particular ocean area from these tidal stream charts what i'm going to be focusing on is guys how to find the course to steer counteracting for the effect of current so let's take an example the example is say if you know your vessel's fixed position that is uh, denoted by the cross here and you know that you have to pass off a say a lighthouse uh, by a particular distance for safe navigation so let's take the example here that you want to pass off the lighthouse um, by a distance of three nautical miles all right so what you do is then you can track your ship's compass and you can draw a circle of radius three nautical miles by keeping the lighthouse in the center as you see on your screens all right so that big position circle the black big position circle then becomes a position circle the radius of which is the distance of you want to pass of the lighthouse so in this scale let's say it's a three nautical miles distance of all right so the pink line in this case is the course you want to be making good you want to be making sure that that is the course that the vessel makes good by counteracting after counteracting for the effect of current all right because uh, if you think uh, you are going to make good this course by steering on this ships on this pink line it may not be possible because the effect of the current may push you off the intended course so you have to counteract for the effect of current now how do we counteract for the effect of current so we find out from the previously shown chart that what is the direction of the current and what is the rate of the current so the rate of the current is the speed of the current now here the two arrows on the pink line indicate this is the course made good so this is the course we want the vessel to make good all right but there is an effect of current now the direction of the set of a current is denoted by the three arrows these three arrows indicate the direction of the current acting on the ship's course now you make this triangle for one hour you make this vector for one hour so if the rate of the current is one nautical mile per hour so the red the length of the red line here will be one nautical mile all right you can make it for one hour or two hours or three hours it's up to you normally for chart work we take the vector diagram for or the vector triangle for one hour so that means that we consider everything for one hour only we consider the ship's course the ship's speed and the rate of the current for one hour so the red line denotes the rate of the current for one hour the three arrows denote the direction of the current now once you draw the red line or the current for one hour from the of the red line you then draw the ship's speed for the next one hour all right so for example if the ship is going to be doing a speed of say 10 nautical miles uh, so the ship speed is 10 nautical miles per hour then you will take uh, the compass again and draw a position circle with a radius of 10 nautical miles all right that is the ship speed for the next one hour now wherever that position circle will cut the course made good that is the point you will join so that is the yellow line on your screen the yellow line then indicates the course to steer so this is the course you must steer to counteract for the effect of current so if you steer this course denoted by the single arrow you will make sure that the vessel passes of the lighthouse by the intended distance of say three nautical miles all right so this is one example let's take another all right so let's take that uh, this is the course you intend to make good all right uh, and i'll tell you uh, some things later on as we go along i don't want to give you too much information so and then again you know the f direction of the current so the arrows here the three arrows denote the direction of the current which is also called set all right and again you draw this vector drawing or the vector triangle for one hour so you take the rate of the current for one hour only so uh, once you draw 
the current for the one hour or the effect of the current for one hour then you can again the shift speed for the next one hour and wherever it cuts the force made good you would join the line here all right and then again the yellow denoted by the single arrow becomes the course to steer all right so this is the course to steer again let's take an example this will become the speed made good so that is the speed the ship will actually make good by counteracting for the effect of current these exercises are very useful especially in some cases where say for example you want to pass a of a lighthouse or you want to get a beam bearing or you want to drop anchor uh, of, of a particular point all right so when you want a beam you want to drop anchor so these are very useful then so once you know what course to steer to pass of a distance of or to drop an anchor uh, or for safe navigation of the vessel by counteracting for the effect of current right. let's take another example here now this example here shows you how do you determine the direction of current this is your course to steer all right so you know that she is going to steer this course from a position that is known to you in that case the cross sign denotes the dead reckoning position of the estimated position all right that is the uh, says a ship is at about 8 o'clock and you intend to reach the cross at 8:15 after 15 minutes but when you plot the ship's position after 15 minutes maybe using a range and bearing of a lighthouse you realize that after 15 minutes your ship has not reached the cross which you thought you would expecting it to reach but rather reached the position all right this is where the ship reached after 15 minutes by starting off at 8 o'clock all right so what then you can do is you can estimate the dr position by the ship's course and speed for the next 15 minutes say starting from 8 o'clock where you knew the position of the ship you can see the position of the ship there and then if you draw the uh, this becomes the course made good the purple or the pink line becomes the course made good so that is the ship's course and speed made good actually uh, in the last 15 minutes so from the estimated position if you connect the estimated position to the fixed position an idea of the set of the current or the direction of the current all right then the distance or the total length of the red line gives you the drift the drift is the total distance of so basically the rate of the current which is the speed of the current per hour multiplied by the time of travel gives you the total drift the total distance of all right so i have talked about this in my previous videos i am just repeating here myself but i am just repeating myself here but uh, you should watch those videos as well so this will give you the drift and the set of the current now if we have to contract for these functions so this is the way you can find out about it as well now let's take another example that you know your fixed position say at about 10 o'clock you know small circle and this is where you have to reach by 10 20 after 20 minutes so the cross is where you want to reach that becomes your dr position or a dead reckoning or estimated position of 20 minutes right. however after 20 minutes you realize you have reached the next green circle so this is where you have reached denoted by the circle that is your fixed position so you have not reached where you thought you would reach but you have reached in another point. this becomes your course made good and the speed made good as well for the last 20 minutes all right so how do you find the course to steer to regain the track by 10 40 hours that is after 20 minutes so what you then do is because now you know the direction of the current and the drift as well you can apply this rate and drift to your position or your fixed position at 10:20 for this so that by the time it's 10:40 in the next 20 minutes and regain your course to steer so if you had continued you would reach some right but what you do is then you contract for the effect of current by drawing the current's direction and speed for the next 20 minutes and then again like you did previously calculate the ship speed for the next 20 minutes so stw stands for speed through water calculate what speed your ship will be doing in the next 20 minutes and then taking the black dot as the center of a circle and using your ship's compass 
draw a position circle which is equal to the ship speed in the next 20 minutes or the distance traveled by the ship speed ship in the next 20 minutes wherever the position circle cuts the course to steer join the two points together as we have done previously this will give you the course to steer all right so from 10 o'clock to 10:20 you did not contract for the effect of current but what it helped you to do was find out the effect of current but from 10:20 going to 10:40 you have found out and you contracted the effect of current and that's why you have a new course to steer to regain your original track by 10:40 this is the next 20 minutes